for our last section of the trip where we were with the group in Ecuador, we got onto another big public bus to leave Tena and to head toward Otavalo. And you can see we were not too happy after the experience that we had on the way into Tena. But this time we had the assistance of some medication to make sure that we didn't suffer quite as much. So this ride was a little bit more enjoyable. We felt better. We were making sure that we took advantage of every stop and just tried to enjoy the scenery. So after a little while, once we got closer to Otavalo, we were very happy to switch over to a small private bus where we could stop whenever we needed to. And I can't tell you how much of a relief that was after the ordeal that we went through on the way into Tena. This was like night and day. The first place that we stopped on our way to Otavalo was the actual marker for the equator. And this is basically just a giant sundial and they've arranged rocks into a pattern around it so that you can see where the shadow from the sundial is pointing. And they use this at all different times of year to watch the movement of the sun and there's a guide standing at the sundial who explains the way that everything works. One of the interesting things that he talked about was how they're trying to change the way that the map is printed or the picture of the world. Instead of having everything up and down the way that we know it, they're actually trying to turn everything the other way, which looks very odd. <laughs> Next, we stopped for lunch at a traditional local restaurant and guinea pig was on the menu here, but nobody in our group was actually brave enough to order the whole guinea pig. It just reminded us too much of the pets that a lot of us had when we were kids. I'm there, I'm like, don't we just wait for the sun to go? It's nice when your, your leader says, don't worry if the volcano starts making noises. It's, it's totally fine. the shower? That's the question. Over there. After two days in the jungle. <laughs> uh, with questionable toilets. <laughs> sometimes they flush, sometimes they don't. Jeez. Alright, hopefully this one flushes consistently. Yay. You got the key? Yeah. Where's the lock it? Yeah. I'll let you lock it. What's up? I don't think I'll lock it.
survived our bus trip. Barely. We made it. We're in Otavalo. And now we're going to walk to the market. Yep. Oh, coffee. Chocolate. Is that the volcano? I think it is. Yeah, I think that is the volcano. I don't like this sleeping under a volcano thing. No. Don't <laughs> okay. get coffee. Nice fancy place for dinner. <laughs> trying to dry things. The never ending task of trying to dry things. Mm -hmm. When we woke up on Saturday, we looked outside and the market that had started out in the main square had expanded down all of the streets that came off of it. And the road in front of our hotel was completely covered in tables with vendors and every different thing that you can think of. It's not just touristy stuff that you can buy as souvenirs. A lot of the locals do their actual shopping for clothes and shoes and household goods at the market. Do you want to go across to that or do you want to check out the church? Uh, church. Church? Okay. To the church. We kept walking through the streets until we moved away from the market and we ended up in the main square of the town where a lot of the locals were hanging out and it was an absolutely beautiful day so it was really nice to just sit in the park and soak it in. spend as much time in the park as we could but eventually we had to head back to the hotel and start to get ourselves ready because first we had to figure out how to fit our souvenirs into our luggage and then we had to start getting everything organized so that we could meet the group and get the bus to head back to Quito. And this was the last travel day with our group. Just so nice out today. Yeah. I can't believe how big the market is. Yeah. It's just like everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely All everywhere. Streets, tons of stuff. Nice people. They don't uh, go crazy. They don't like super harass you or anything. But I got a couple things from the market. Uh, did pretty good. Uh, the haggling's easy here. They don't. They don't. It's no pressure. 
Uh, pretty much when you walk by, they're just pretty much just like a speaking voice like this. They ask you if you want anything. Um, so you can just keep going to nod your head or whatever. Uh, but the haggling, the guy spoke English, a little bit of English. We cheated. Yeah, we, we yeah, found the guy we who spoke the, English. Yeah, and, and we were like <laughs> sold on something, we just didn't know what. And uh, yeah, I got a couple sweaters, a zipper up, zip up for me, and a coffee mug. Yep. So it worked out good. And I got an alpaca sweater. So yeah, I'm happy. We just got back from walking around the famous Otavalo market, and I got this alpaca sweater, and Patrick got also a sweater. I don't know, is yours alpaca? No, no, maybe long. I'm not really sure, but they're made in Ecuador, so that's cool. And we tried to haggle a little bit. I mean, we were really more worried if it was going to fit in our suitcase, so we were like, no, no, it's too big. And then he kept coming down in price, so we were like, okay, now we can't, we can't say no. And he spoke English, so it was easier, because we figured out that we don't really know our numbers in Spanish very well. That makes it very hard to haggle. Um, and then Patrick got a a really neat um, coffee mug with like painted pictures of Ecuador on it so that'll be really nice in our kitchen. Um, so now we're packing up and we're getting ready to leave Otavalo and getting back onto the private bus. We upgraded to the private bus because as a group we did not want to get back on a public yeah. bus. Only next we had all bus. had it so we agreed to pay the extra money to go on to the public bus or the private bus. And we're going to go back to Quito now, and then we're trying to decide what we're going to do with our last two days. So we have, what, today's Saturday, so we have Sunday when we get back into Quito, and then Monday is our last full day, and then we have to leave really early on Tuesday. So we're trying to figure out what we feel like doing for those days. Lunch stop. <laughs> Should be yeah. interesting. Yeah. You know what? I was gonna do? what? Get, get what? Coca Cola for later. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh look at the puppy. Hello, baby. What's your puppy? <laughs> <laughs>